Good afternoon, everybody. In front of you are uh, one among the Gamba Girls students who are here to present to you the project with the title Improving the Life of Physically Challenged People Through Education. The abstract is made up of the introduction, the impact of exclusive education, together with the ways forward in human development. Physically challenged people are a group of people who fail to obtain different opportunities in the societies due to their physiological, psychological, biological, or physical disabilities that can hinder them to do different activities. And such disabilities can be either one born with or the one who is acquired during the lifetime. The United Republic of Tanzania has played a great role in emphasizing and developing the life of physically challenged people, and it has bring the, its initiation together with the United Nations in building and formulating different organizations that can help in bringing development. And among the greatest impact is the introduction of exclusive education, which involves the education among the people with disabilities together with the people with, the, in, with uh, together with people with disabilities. The kind of education has resulted to a very great positive impact within the society of education. Such impacts are like it has exposed students to the group of different students with disabilities that has built great awareness among different students. This has happened especially for the students without disabilities. They have been aware on how the students with disabilities live and how they accommodate with their life and everything that they got. Also, the, such education has helped in providing a great communication among the students with disabilities together with the students without disabilities. And this has bring a very great impact through learning of different languages, especially the sign language used for the students with hearing disabilities and together with the cottage, Nukta Nundu, which is mostly used by the students with visual disabilities. And also, the living with living with students with disabilities has brought a great impact in bringing development of association among different students within the school. This has brought association through living together within the same dormitories, living together and sharing the same skills, sharing the same ideas, even in sports and games and other school activities. Apart from all the positive sides of exclusive education, there are also some negative sides of it. And such negative sides are like the hardness of the students, especially the newcomers, to cope up with students with disabilities. This is because most of the students without disabilities fail are unaware of these students with disabilities. And this makes them to be to stare at them like they are strange things. And this has been kind of bombment and kind of Disparments among the students with disabilities. Apart from that, there is also hardness of infrastructures favoring them. Before I go to the challenge, let me first thank the government of trying its level best. A good example is in Rugamba by developing the infrastructure within the school compound that has enhanced the students with with leg disabilities in movement from one place to another. But apart from that, there are still some areas which have bring a very great negative impact among them when they fail to move from one place to another. A good example is like the biology laboratory which is in Rugamba is located above the stairs, on the stairs, and that is difficult for a person who is a leg cat that is uh, like disabilities to move from the, to get to them. And also the movement from the dining hall and from the classroom to the dining hall has become a very great challenge among the students with disability due to the fact there is no, there is no a favorable condition for them to be moving. And also there is difficulty in means of transportation, especially from home to school movement. This is because as for them to be transported, they have to be carried. Here I'm speaking to the ones with leg disabilities and hand disabilities, but mostly the leg disabilities. They face difficulties, especially the parents and the one the guidance in carrying them 
from their home places to the school compound. And this has made them feel like they are luggages. That kind of feeling that they are luggages, that kind of feeling that they cannot move it themselves, that they are dependent to a certain point that they cannot do something without somebody else support. And apart from that, there is among the social challenges facing them, there is absence of language translators. And before I jump to that, I should first thank the government by trying its level best in bringing development in searching language translators in many organizations and many congregations and many associations where a lot of language translators, we can see them and we can see them working even on televisions. But apart from that, let us talk to the inner areas, the ones which are inclusive areas, where when there is village meetings, there is very hard inability for getting language translators. And also apart from that, the ones with disability are not given the priority, especially for the ones in exclusive er inclusive areas. They're not given priority for them to see what is moving on due to the crowd scattering them, due to the crowd blocking them to view and to see everything. And also there is shortage of trainees personnel. Here a good example is in Rugambwa where most of the teachers who are teaching the students with disabilities are the same same teachers who are teaching the students the, the students without disabilities. And this has been a very great negative impact because you get a teacher's being overcrowded with a lot of things to do. And apart from overcrowding of a lot of things to do, some teachers are even learning new subjects just to accommodate the, the points where there are no teachers. A good example is in the students with, with hearing disabilities. They lack many they lack teachers on science classes. So this can influence a teacher who is teaching them arts to engage in science subjects just to teach them. And now that is not specialization. We cannot see specialization from that. So that is among the challenges facing them. And apart from that, there are also very few colleges in Tanzania that they are special for students with disabilities that the teachers can be obtained from. Apart from all the challenges, we should all come up with the ways forward for all the challenges that they all face. And one among the ways forward is education of the young generation. It's well said by Malcolm Fogg that the purpose of education is to lighten up a dark mind. And among the dark minds are the ones with the young generations which are still moving on. The best way that we can do is in setting a special subject, just like how science and mathematics other subjects are present. Special subject that would be specifying on teaching them and bringing awareness to them, bringing knowledge to them about the people with disabilities. And this can help them to be aware and not to have that kind of staring gestures when they come to feel, when they find to meet them on their way out. Apart from the young generation, we should also deal with the old generation. The old generation involves the, the, the ones who are already out of school. Now, the only way that we can help them, because we cannot take them back to school, the only way that we can help them is through the social media. And we really thank the government that has tried its level best in conducting different seminars that has helped in enlightening people's mind. But on top of that, we still need more enforcement. And one among them is introducing newspapers for Casting methods that will be special. There will be a special paragraph where we'll be teaching about this people with disabilities. And apart from that, on the radio station, there should be a specified period of time where on the radio stations will be explaining, teaching people about people with disabilities, and this can help to enlighten the mind of even the ones who cannot read, they can also hear them. And apart from that, there is also um, enacting billboards, even to the schools which they, they have no students with disabilities. Those kind of billboards will enable them to be aware and to identify those people, to get to know them regardless of either meeting them or not. And this can help to remove that kind of blurring kind of feeling when they have to meet the people with disabilities. And apart from that, there is also there is improvement of the national examination program by separating the exposure of results of people with disabilities 
from other students. I think this is the point where the government should now start to bring separation among the results for the students with disabilities and the students without disabilities. I'm simply talking about the students with visual disabilities together with the students with hearing disabilities, whereby the students with visual disabilities should have their own results separate from the ones with with hearing disabilities and also the ones without disabilities. This can help in bringing rewardments to them, rewarding them in different ways that as there are TOs that come from students without disabilities. I think it's a time that there should be also TOs, Tanzania ones and the ones with disabilities. And this can bring a great push factor for the ones who are still studying in bringing them, in forcing them, in learning them, helping them to build that great feeling of studying hard and working hard more and more and more. And apart from that, they should also start to focus, I mean, I should also thank the government for trying its level best in bringing special teachers for marking the exams for the ones with visual disabilities. But also we are forgetting the ones with hearing disabilities. They also need special teachers for them to be marked and not to just be mixed with the ones without disabilities. And this can enable them to be able, the ones marking, they will be able to know on how they mark and how they relate it to, according to their mindsets. Apart from that, there is improvement of the transport system, special for the ones with less disabilities. And we, we, I kind of made an idea of a certain car, a car-like figure. And this car can help in bringing, enabling the ones with wheelchairs that they can also move inside. They can slide in and they will be a spacious one. Such kind of car should be a little bit slow on the low place where the ones with wheelchairs can enable them to move and to be inserted inside without carrying them and taking them inside the kind without enfolding the wheelchairs. They can just simply move inside and they can easily get their transport system. And from this kind of car system there should be should be enactment of insurance cards. This insurance card will be special for the ones with disabilities, like disabilities that they should have for their best fares to be given, they should have the insurance card. And this can only not only bring development for the ones with like disabilities, but also bring great developments to the government. And I think these are among the things that they should also be considered. But apart from all that, we should all learn that when we bring the society into a great mindset through education them, we will help the life struggle of the physically disabled people to move from in the positive side and the positive struggle can help to bring an empowerment, can help to bring an inspired life and it will bring the individual development and the result of individual development will come to national development. These are among the things that we should all work on. And apart from that, I really thank the government for all the support. I really thank the government for all the great works that they all do to the, to the physically disabled people. Please keep on and we'll keep on praying to you. May God bless you all. Have a nice day.